What's going on guys? It's Byron here from ETA Wheels. It's a little bit late. Um, just finally got my delivery. So I've had a set of Skull Candy Smokin' Buds 2 for about three years now. And I finally decided, actually when I say I finally decided, they finally decided to give up the ghost. Three years of service, literally using them every single day for three years. I think that's a pretty good service life. So, I've got this little box. Since I couldn't decide what was going to be the better successor, um, we're trying three. Three different sets. So, without further ado, this is a set of Beats Flex. Okay, so these have a, th these are marketed as an all day wireless earphone, up to a 12 hour battery life. They recharge with a USB C, and they can be used with an Apple or an Android uh, phone. However, they are primarily targeted at Apple. I have an Android. I guess I'm just going to be that guy for this, uh, for this review. All right, we've got a set of Sony, and these are the WI-SP510 wireless headphones. Now these are marketed as a sport type, so it's got um, some water resistance. Looks like it's a IPX5 rating, which I'm going to do a video um, that explains how to check the different ratings here soon. Uh, essentially. You can sweat on it, but you're not going to want to shower with it. And you're definitely not going to want to swim with it, which Bluetooth doesn't work underwater anyway, just for the record. And lastly, <clears throat> I have a set of Skull Candy Inked Plus. So, I am going to pick at random. Okay, I picked that. Never owned a set of Beats. Um, I've talked to a lot of people that have had uh, quality issues with them over the years. I don't really know, um, so I'm about to find out. But these are going to be the first ones that I try. And these are going to be the next day, and these are going to be the next day. So what I'm going to be doing is giving these things a full, complete workout, full day at work, uh, and beyond. And I'm going to be testing out the battery life. I'm going to be testing out um, one of the things that interested me very keenly about the Beats is that it has a quick charge feature. So 10 minutes of charging is allegedly going to get you an hour and a half of um, additional run time should it be required. So this has got some pretty trick packaging. And okay, so it's got a, a seal. So you peel the seal. Move these out of the way. Still trying to play with the lighting a little bit. Um, try to get some better lighting. But we're going to go ahead and switch to a slightly more overhead view so you guys can see what's going on. All right, I'm going to change up the light just a little bit. I'm still playing with this thing, so, you know, guys down in the comments, let me know. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go with a little bit softer, I'll go with a 4000 Kelvin setting, and uh, just see what's what. And I think between this and that, there we go. Hey, that's a little better. I'm trying to, to not have shadows in the video, um, but this actually looks pretty dang good. So I peeled off the security seal. I'm gonna go ahead and open this so you guys can um, you know see what it looks like. 
This is the black color. I figured I would go with black because it's just a little bit more professional for work. Though there are um, a number of different uh, color options. The green one is actually particularly kind of cool. So let's see. So we've got our tray. It says fast fuel. 10 minutes of charge gives you 1.5 hours. Look, I, I get that these are a budget headphone. I get that. But man, that is a tiny ass charging cable. So it does come with a variety of tips. Get my finger out of it, dropped one. But it does come with a variety of tips. So you do have different fitment options, and that's pretty cool. This packaging is pretty trick, I gotta admit. And it looks like you've got iOS and Android instructions. A little beat sticker. And multilingual instruction manual. <clears throat> to turn off Bluetooth on Beats Flex, press the power button. Really? Batteries. Don't attempt to replace the Beats Flex battery yourself. You may be damaged. You may damage the battery, which could cause overheating and injury. Charging. Charge the Flex Beats with the charging cable and a power adapter or computer. Only charge with an adapter that is compliant with applicable country regulations. Awesome. Hey, if you listen to the music at high volume, you may have permanent ear damage. Prolonged heat exposure. Avoid prolonged skin, tact, skin contact with, the, with a device. It's power adapter and the charging cable and the connector when plugged in. So don't listen to these while you're charging them. All right. Um, you can choke on it. it. May interfere with medical devices. Earphones can lead to ear infections if not properly cleaned. Clean, seriously, dude. Keep your earbuds clean. Electrostatic shock. Driving hazard. There you go. And it's got a Apple one year warranty. So again, these are primarily marketed at Apple users. As you can see, they've got a pretty groovy little magnet system. So now this back cable, which you can't tell from a lot of the photos, and for some reason it's never uh, discussed in the couple of reviews I've seen on these. It's actually pretty firm and pretty thick. So up a little. All right. In case you couldn't tell, I'm kind of tired. But they sit very comfortably around the neck and this little magnet is your security device. Now, this magnet does two things. As soon as it attaches to the other side, it will stop playing your music. Um, these do sit fairly level around the neck and um, for a professional type environment, you can tuck them into your collar very nicely and it's very hard to tell that they're there. Um, they are fairly comfortable. I definitely, it's definitely a change um, from what I'm used to. The, uh, the buds that are on it are quite comfortable. Uh, the tips that are on it, I should say. I am gonna go with one of the smaller sizes and see if that maybe fits me a little bit better. And then I'll try one of the larger sizes. I hope you guys can, can clearly see what I'm doing here. Let's try turning this thing off and see if it is actually any better. I can see now. That's a good thing. Okay, so I got this on. This is the smaller tip. And it does, um, it does fit quite nicely in the ear. However, I don't feel that's really gonna be very secure. I think that's gonna pop out quite a bit. So, let's put this back on so it's nice and pretty. We're gonna try out this one. 
And this is the only unboxing I'm gonna to shoot today, and then I'm gonna talk about, I'm, I'm gonna do the head-to-head -head later. So this is a double flange. This should theoretically provide a better um, seal. And it does, though I will admit this does not feel the most secure. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't feel bad. Um, it actually sits in there quite nice. I'm going to try out that uh, double flange on the other side because one of the things that I'm keen to know is how much noise does this block? And um, the double flange, I can say I, I really can't, I, I can't hear anything. So if you want more isolation, the double flange is probably going to be the way you want to go with that. I, however, don't like the, um, the amount of isolation that that provides. I do uh, need to be situationally aware when I'm using them. Even though I am choosing an in-ear bud versus the bone conductive type, um, I want to be able to block out some of the ambient noise, but not all of the ambient noise. So it looks like the ones that come on it are probably going to be my best bet. I know that um, the larger size is going to be too large for my ears. And I'm trying to, you know, get this cool packaging back up to where it was. There we go. That's kind of cool. You can actually use it to just stab your extras on and keep them that way, I guess. So we'll go ahead and put this one back on. This is the this is the one that it ships with. This I'm assuming is the medium size. Get on there, you. There we go. Okay. So we do have some decent noise isolation going on but I can still hear the air conditioner in the background. So that's, that's good. That, that means it's pretty much where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the phone, put it into uh, pairing mode, and go ahead and turn this on. And I'm kind of curious because sometimes they talk to you. Let me see where the buttons are here. Uh, so it looks like the power button is over here on the right side and on the left side you're greeted with a volume rocker and I think this is going to be your start stop button. So we've found the power button on the right side. Let's go ahead and check it out. Maybe that's not the power button. No, according to the directions, that is in fact the power button. And I got a LED light and it's flashing. Let's check. Okay, I got a Beats Flex, and and we're paired. It plays a cool little tune in your ear um, when it fires up. So, because I don't want to run afoul of uh, privacy issues or uh, uh, of media rights, I'm not going to tell you what I'm listening to. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give them a quick sound test. Now, as I'm testing this throughout the day, uh, I, I don't just listen to one genre of music. However, I do listen to a lot of metal. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to test, when I test all three of these, I'm going to listen to some hip-hop, some uh, R&B, uh, I'm going to listen to some operatic music, and I'm, I'm going to listen to some sy symphonic metal as well. Um, I'm going to, you know, what, 
I think I can, oops, I got these backwards. So I'm going to give you the name of the band that I'm listening to, which is Tear. And I'm going to listen to, let's see. I'm going to listen to Tear the Wild Rover because it is a wonderful kick-ass song and it has a lot of actually I'm going to do a song called The Room so Tyr, T-Y-R and I'm assuming that I'm hopefully pronouncing that right um, it's Norse for Thor or Tor however you would like to pronounce it So, I'm going to fire up the song called The Room. Okay. I just want to see... Okay, so there is a Beats app. So, let's check out the Beats app and let's see what that's all about. This is untuned audio quality. And this sounds really good. Okay. So basically what the Beats app does, um, one touch pairing, automatic updates, and dedicated product controls. Connect to your supported Beats products in the app and get the most out of them. Okay. So, let's check it out. Let's I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I'm running this live. 70% downloaded. Man, this, this Paco is, is unbelievably fast. So we're opening the app. I'm going to stop playing music here for a little bit. Click on the get started. No, I do not want to enhance Beats products. I don't understand why Beats needs access to my location. Dre, come on. You don't need access to my location. <clears throat> so I'm going to grant you access this one time. I don't know why a set of Bluetooth headphones needs my location. It doesn't need my location. I'm going to do it once. So right out of the box, it's a 38% battery, in case you guys are curious. I'm just going to keep the stock name. Okay, so automatically play media or answer incoming phone calls when detaching the left and right earbuds from each other. So when the left and right earbuds are attached, this will not play any music, and as soon as I detach it, I can answer a phone call, or I can, you know, rock out. All right. We are going to be giving these a full um, test tomorrow. Automatic, okay, so one of the options you can set through this app is automatically answer calls when attaching or detaching the left or right earbuds from each other. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. Uh, okay, I'm going to do the, you know what, I don't want to register. How about that? I want to skip that step. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's, that's all you get. So you give up your location access for what purpose I can't possibly know, but it innocently tells you, we don't ever sell your location data. 
right. I was born yesterday, and this is a $50 pair of fucking headphones that every other pair of Beats headphones sells for $150, and yet this one somehow magically sells for 50 bucks. Dude, you're, you're either hogging my, my personal information or you're not. I don't know what. I don't know what you're doing. Um, so, this button, I was correct. This is your play, pause, and skip. It's a multifunction button on the left side of the neckband to play, pause, and skip. Press play once to pause, twice to skip forward, or three times to skip backwards. I don't believe that that works with YouTube. Uh, you can press and hold the multifunction button to invoke your voice assistant. So you can do the Google. Uh, and your volume rocker. I was correct, this is your volume rocker. So, I'm going to go back to listening to some music. And we're going to test it. I don't know what volume level these are set at. Okay, so that's all the way down. So the rear button, the rear side of it is your volume up. These get pretty loud. This is maximum volume now. Okay. So I'm going to turn that back down to 30%. Actually, no. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to turn it up to 100%. Give you guys a couple seconds to listen to that. And... Okay, so there's about a second delay from... It did, in fact, resume playing. And there's, there's about a second. So, about enough time to put it in your ear. Starts playing. And as soon as you take it out, done. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these charged up. I'm gonna give it a full workout tomorrow. And um, we'll continue with the unboxing after tomorrow. Y'all have a great rest of your day. All right, so we still haven't charged them yet. I've just been listening to some different music, and I just want to make the following comment. Um, sorry, I forgot my uh, lapel mic. Um, so I have listened to... Uh, a couple of different songs, a couple of different metal tracks. I have listened to some hip hop. And none of it really sounds bad, but none of it's very, um, it's not very bassy. It's, it sounds actually quite flat, which is not a bad thing. Um, however, with, there's like no built in EQ or anything like that. So there's not a whole lot you can do to get around that. So I just want to throw that out there. I will be giving these a full fair shot tomorrow. So y'all have a great rest of your night. So what's going on guys? It's Byron here from ETA Wheels. And as you guys can tell by my wonderful costume change, it's now the next day. So I've been using these Beats. These are the Beats Flex. All day at work. All right. So let's talk about battery life. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I'm at 66% battery life. I've been using them more or less actively the entire day. Um, and I want to make some observations. I switched back to the double flange. So for the people who are saying that there's no um, noise mitigation or noise attenuation when you are using these headphones, I'm going to tell you that that is not the case. It, if you use the double flange earplug, one, two, right? Let's see if it'll focus. 
Hmm. There it goes. So you can see it's got two flanges instead of the standard single flange. If you use the double flange, you will find that it does actually mitigate noise very well. It, it's not, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. You're not gonna be in your own little world, but it's not bad. These, on the other hand, when I put these in, for comparison, this cuts about five decibels out of what goes into my ears, which is not a huge reduction, but I can tell you that when we have a, a, an aircraft that runs up outside of our building, I can pop these in and it doesn't affect me the way that it does if I don't. Um, these, after you put them in, there's a little bit and then they kind of expand back out to where they should be and it'll cut down on the noise but it's not the same. Um, so let's talk music quality. I've listened to everything from ZZ Ward to Lindsey Sterling. I listened to some Nas, some Tupac, some Biggie, some Dre. A lot of metal. I listened to some, some symphonic music. And what I've found is that they don't really have a lot of bass. So if you're an audiophile and you're looking for a reasonable quality of sound, this is not the earbuds for you. Who do I feel the target audience is? I feel the target audience for these are people who work in a corporate environment. So if you work in an office, so you want to be able to listen to something, but maybe not necessarily block out the office noise. This is probably a pretty good choice. Now, the experience may be different on an iOS device. I don't have an iOS device to try it. All I have is my Android. These are very heavily targeted and marketed towards the Apple phone community. So I'm gonna bet that the user experience is maybe a little bit better there. <clears throat> maybe if you have an EQ to uh, tweak your sound profile a little bit, you can get them to perform better than I did. However, in terms of, like, if you're listening, for example, there we go. So if you notice, I don't know if you guys caught that on the camera or not, I was struggling to turn these off. Um, that's probably my biggest complaint about these. Uh, they're very slow to pair. When I turn this one on, it pairs immediately. And this is three years old. This is a fairly new product and it takes about 30 seconds to pair. Again, this is marketed more for the Apple user than it is for the Android user. So would I use these if I was working out? Not really. They're, they're not the most secure feeling, although I will freely admit they did not pop out with the double flange. They did, however, with the uh, single flange. If you're going for a walk and you're, you're walking in an area where there's a lot of traffic, this would be a pretty good choice. You don't really hear a whole lot of bass in the music until you go above 50%. And I don't really want to listen to my music all that loud. And even then, the little bit that you do get it's not that great. Now, I tried this with a total of three different types of the flanges, and even when I got a good seal, it, the, the clarity just for, for the music, it, it's very clear, it's very crisp, but it, there, there's a, a significant lack of bass. If you're listening to a lot of audio books, if you're listening to, um, a lot of, uh, like maybe a YouTube video like mine, for example, right now, this would be a good choice for you. Now, here's some of the good things. 
The microphone that's on this is phenomenal. It's really, really good. Um, some of the people that I made calls to today did not realize that I was on a headset. That's how good it is. Um, outside in the wind, it was pretty good. They could hear me clearly. I could hear them. Uh, when you drop it down, you see how it just kind of connects like that? That's the magnet. Oh, looks like I missed. That's the magnetic feature. Uh, and it does keep them fairly secure. And what I noticed, that, that second delay from the time you take it out to the time you, you stick it together before it pauses your music, that realistically, that's about the amount of time it would take you to pull it out of your ear and click it together around your neck. Um, the controls to me feel very awkward at best because they're located way back here. Um, I'm used to the skull candy, which puts them right here, which is equally as awkward, I will admit, but it's a lot more convenient to just reach up here than it is to go all the way back to the collar. That, that's a very small gripe. Overall, they're, they're a reasonable pair of headphones uh, at a very reasonable price. So if you're one of those people that's used to the standard Bluetooth earpiece, not necessarily a headset, but like a, like a regular Bluetooth earpiece, if you're in your car and you don't have Android or Android Auto or, or Apple CarPlay, and you're trying to listen to the GPS instructions on your phone, very good choice. Overall, it's not bad. I, I feel that it could be better. But yeah, so that's a full day's use on the Beats Flex for me. So we're going to move on to the next one. And I'm going to sum up my feelings on all three of these at the end in one big shootout comparison video. So this is Byron from ETA Wheels. Y'all have a great day. What's going on guys? So we're here to wrap up our uh, product testing. So we're gonna talk about the Beats. This is the Beats Flex. Now I use these for about two days and I'm just gonna go ahead and make some observations about them. In terms of sound quality, they're really not that great. Stock. However, on day two of my testing, what I did was I went ahead and I downloaded a equalizer application and I began listening to these with an EQ and I was very happy with the results. So who do I picture these for? Like who, who would buy these? In my opinion, if you want something pretty low key and you're in the office, this is probably going to be the set for you. Let me show you what I mean. All right. Click together. Click them in your shirt. Don't even really know that they're there. Very low key. Make a phone call. Pop it out. Make a phone call. Click it back together, and you're done. So, overall, these are not bad. I think if I were using these with an iOS device, I would probably like them a lot better, but I don't have an iOS device. So, these actually come in at number two on my test. They're not bad. Uh, I found that I had to switch to the double flange to get the noise reduction that I was looking for while still being able to um, be connected to my coworkers and stuff like that. If, if somebody talks to me, I can still hear them, but I also don't listen to my music super, super thumping loud. 
Now, without the equalizer, I listen to just about everything. I listen to everything from heavy metal to R&B, hip hop, trip hop, a little bit of classical, even got into some house and some techno. Without the equalizer app, I was not very impressed with these. I was, however, very impressed with the call clarity. So, if you're looking to make phone calls and just kind of background listen to spoken spoken audio, like one of my videos, this is going to be a good choice for you. Okay? So, if I had to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, I would put them at about a 5 without the equalizer and about a 7 with the equalizer app. Battery life is incredible. They, they go all day. Um, I've charged these once since I started the testing. I used it for a full day at work and I ended up at 68%, I think it was, maybe 63%, something like that. Uh, it wasn't bad. And then I charged them up again and I haven't recharged them since and I've, I've used them on and off over the weekend and over the last day or two. All in all, not bad. And again, the, the call clarity was really quite remarkable. Um, some people have talked about it and they've said that, you know, maybe the call clarity wasn't all that good or whatever, but the guys that I was talking to were very, very surprised to find out I was on Bluetooth headset. So do with that information what you will. This is Byron and you guys have a great day.